Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from Fiery Phoenix and today I'm going to be introducing you to the newest member of our family which is this gorgeous little mini schnauzer, Sophie. Um, so she might have been making all sorts of snuffering noises in the background for some of my, uh, my recent tutorials so uh, I thought I'd let you see who's been making all that strange noise and, uh, and it's this little one. So um, I thought that would be a nice fun introduction for today, a bit of puppy love there, so cute. Um, before we get on to the business of the actual tutorial for today, which is sort of semi-tutorial, but also it's a review, and it's a review of the Cinch Side Threading Needles. Now, I'll put some decent photography up because this is obviously going to be teeny tiny in comparison to how far away the video camera is, and also I don't want to get anything near, near you, little one, where you could hurt yourself on the needles. So I'll move the camera around and I'll show you exactly why I'm so excited about these needles. See you in a minute. So what we're going to be talking about is the ease with which we can thread a needle. So with a needle of um, a standard type, you'll find that the, um, the eye is enclosed all the way around. Now on this is, this is a, a wool needle, so this is a very large needle with a very large eye. Um, as you drop down through different types of needle for different, um, different sewing tasks, you find those eyes suddenly become a lot smaller and, and harder to see. Um, including the actual sewing uh, machine needles as well and um, this is a denim needle so it's not actually the smallest eye that you can get in a, a sewing machine needle so if you've got um, arthritis or rheumatism or if you have um, some sort of illness where you, you have a, a bit of a, a jitter or a spasm then um, you can find threading needles incredibly incredibly tricky um, now the needles that I've found in the past to do this were this style where you would thread from the top down. Um, I'm not sure how close I can get. Yes, there we go. So you thread from the top down and so you'd, you'd put the, the, the thread through the little V at the top and then it would be caught um, in theory and that would then allow you to continue sewing. However, what I find happens in practice is that either the thread breaks, the thread pulls back out the hole at the top or in the case of this second one in, the actual needle itself shatters and that's not something that I would recommend for anybody to be using. Um, so this I, is the, uh, sadly, until now, this has been the only option for people who've had difficulty threading needles unless you're using an automated needle threader on a sewing machine or one of those little um, needle threaders that you get in um, sewing kits. However, I have recently found, um, I say recently, um, but I've been testing these for, for about a month or so, um, the cinch side threading needles and as you can see from this large graphic the, the thread comes in, down and then back up so that it's not pulling out as you're sewing um, which makes it a much more usable needle so this is a pack which I'm throwing around all over the place of the hand needles uh, I'm not sure if you can, can see that quite closely enough to see the um, holes on the side there where you would actually thread the needle uh, but I'll pop up a decent graphic so that you can see that. So that's the, um, the the hand needles. And I've also been using the sewing machine needles. So again, you'd thread down the side and then bring it back up to have the thread running. And in one of these packs, you get two needles. I've been using one, as I say, for the last month or so, uh, testing it out in a variety of projects. And these are a universal size 8012. Uh, for medium weight fabric. Now I've used that on quilting, I've used it in bag making, I've used it in soft toy making, I've used it for repairs and I've also used it in the only project that I found that it didn't actually work with which wasn't a surprise to me was when I made the sugar skull um, pin cushion. Because that was freehand embroidery and I wasn't using a frame to hold the fabric taut, I was just holding it quite loosely with my own hands, um, that um, that the movement of the fabric caused issues with the needle but uh, any needle struggled with that but this particular needle found it um, rather unpleasant but other than that I would I would highly recommend this needle that you can use it with with pretty much any um, any project so what I'll do is move on and show you how to insert the needle into your sewing machine and then how to thread it so what we're going to do is remove the needle which is currently in the sewing machine 
I've got a nice dark thread, so you should be able to see how I then go ahead and thread the needle. Um, as with all machine needles, it's got a flat side and a rounded side. We want the flat side at the reverse. And then we pop this back up into the housing and tighten that up. It's just You just treat this as, as any regular needle. And then instead of um, taking the end and trying to, to insert it, you know, there's no, no need to, uh, to cut the end of the thread and then try and shove it through. Ooh, down the side of the needle and back up. And there you have your threaded needle. Just do that one more time. And there you have it threaded through. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you and that you will be able to see if the side threading needle will actually be of benefit to your sewing, um, either in hand sewing or with machine sewing. Um, I've put all the links in the details below and um, as always I'll be continuing to release tutorials on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The best way to stay up to date is to subscribe to the channel um, or of course you can just pop back and forth as you, um, as you see fit. If this was your first time here, hopefully you've enjoyed the experience and you'll be coming back for more. Um, and welcome to the channel. And uh, remember that I am always happy to accept challenges, requests, um, and if you've got a particular pattern or product that you want me to look at or give you some help with, then please drop me a message in the comments below and I will do my best to accommodate that. If you are the first person to suggest a tutorial or a topic, then you will get a shout out when that, um, that video is uploaded. So hopefully I'll be getting um, some more suggestions from you guys. Speak to you later. Bye.